Okay, so this is going to be the very last archetype analysis again until further notice. This is another archetype I was aware of existing, but I d it just didn't pass my mind that they were actually used in the anime. And fittingly so, because the user of this archetype, the monk archetype, is Naoki Shima from Reigns. And the only card he actually used was actually a trap card, which is by far the best card of this archetype. So, yeah. Pretty... Pretty surprising, to say the least. And yeah. It was used in a grand total of one duel, with the user actually having a grand total of two, in which he didn't use this archetype. Anyway, enough with the trivial matter. Let's go on to the actual archetype analysis, and we start off with a level 3 vanilla monster, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of an out of place card, isn't it? Yeah, many of you are probably wondering how the hell does this thing even uh, make it into the monk archetype. But several cards that support the monk archetype also support this thing. Yeah, they actually mention it by name. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, this this mouse, uh, this little mouse here is supposed to be an obvious Bruce Lee reference. But the best thing about him is the relatively high attack value for a level 3 monster. So, in a normal monster beatdown, he, I guess he is a formidable level 3 monster? I don't know. Anyway, let's go on to the archetype proper with our first effect monster, that being Monk Fighter. Has 100 more attack, and, uh, attack than Chusuke and has actual defense point values at 1000. But its effect is nothing to write home about since you know, all it does is prevent taking battle damage from battles involving Monk Fighter himself. Which makes him entirely replaceable by Amazoness Fighter or better yet Amazoness Swordswoman. So moving on, next up we have another level 3 which is our final level 3 and it only belongs to the archetype due to lore. Just like Chusuke and that is Legendary Jujitsu Master. If this defense position card battle the monster at the end of the damage step, place that monster on the t top of the deck. Well, I guess if you're having trouble against that one guy who is a massive fan of the Red Archetype, and by that I mean the original Red Dragon Archfiend, now you have a countermeasure against him. Well, the best thing I can say about this thing is that uh, this effect is actually better than Garmer of the Nordic Beasts, and that's about as far as it goes. So, yeah, I'll leave this one out. There are better cards, way better cards than this piece of shit. And our final monster of this archetype is Master Monk. It's a level 5 with 1900 attack and 1000 defense, a whole 600 more attack than the, re the regular Monk Fighter. And it cannot be normal summoned or set, and this card cannot be special summoned except by tributing a Monk Fighter. And its only other effect is that it can attack twice during the, uh, during the same turn. I, yeah, it's, uh, it was a, uh, it's an age-old multiple attacking card which might have been cool around the time when building up huge fields with a bunch of monsters was very uncommon and the summoning condition is relatively generous at least for the time so yeah the, 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 if if it was like if it was made any more gimmick here during that time it would say like you can you you must tribute a monk fighter who destroyed at least two or three monsters. So, yeah, kudos for actually not screwing around with this card. So, yeah, but again, it's it's a boss monster in again triple quotation marks because, well, the archetype doesn't have any other monsters and this is the best they've got. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to their back row, which consists of two spells and two traps. How handy. First of which we have the equip spell Legendary Black Belt. Equip only to Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, Monk Fighter or Master Monk. And when the equipped monster destroys your opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you get to inflict damage to your opponent equal to the defense of the destroyed monster. It's essentially the effect of Neos Wiseman, except it doesn't have the effect where you gain life points equal to the 
Oh wait, Neos Wiseman burns for the attack and gains life points for the defense. So it's essentially a reverse Neos Wiseman without the life point gaining effect and... Uh, he doesn't even provide attack boosts. I mean, the most relevant target of course is Master Monk and that's not saying much, so... Well, it is. It can, if you stack uh, stack your Master Monk with right equips, for, for example, like a Moon Mirror Shield, you can get some pretty nasty burn damage on board, but again, it's not great. Next up, we have our final spell, Kaminote Blow. Activate only if there is at least one face-up Chusuke, the Mouse Fighter, Monk Fighter, or Master Monk on your side of the field. Destroy the monster uh, that and that battles with the monsters on your side of the field. This, uh, that battles with the, uh, these monsters at, uh, on the field at the end of each damage step. Um, why couldn't have this been a, a built-in effect on Monk Fighter or even uh, or even Master Monk? Better yet, instead of printing this thing, I mean it would make it a bit a bit powerful for the time, but again. In today's standards, this has no reason to exist uh, since we have cards like Ally of Justice Kata Store and all that, so... Yeah. I'll leave this one out. There are, n there are better removal. You, you tend to clear the monsters out, uh, your opponent's monsters out before even making, in uh, making it into the battle phase, so... Yeah. Next up, we have our first trap card, Lone Wolf. It's a continuous trap that says... Activate only while the only monster on your side of the field is Chusuke, Monk Fighter, or Master Monk. That monster is it cannot be destroyed as a result of a battle and is unaffected by any of your opponent's monster effects. Okay, so this is actually a pretty strong buff, I gotta admit. Being unaffected by monster effects is actually hu a huge deal nowadays, even though he's still limited. Uh, he's still vulnerable to spell and trap removal but again it would make a r uh, it would make it a bit too overpowered for the time of this card's release so yeah anyway you play three of these in your monk deck if you're building a monk deck for whatever reason and finally we have the most recent card among these and the actual one that Sh uh, Naoki Shima used and that's showdown of the secret sense scroll techniques it's a counter trap with actually a very good effect. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card or monster effect with the same name as a card in their graveyard, negate the activation and if you do, destroy that card. So, this is actually a very potent counter uh, measure against, uh, against the opponent if you happen to vastly know the contents of their deck or if, you, uh, or if they actually used one of the one of the cards that that they have additional copies of this can actually be a pretty nasty counter or you can actually set this countermeasure yourself by employing stuff like that uh, something that sends the uh, sends stuff to the graveyard from the opponent's deck for, for example using something to send an opponent's ash blossom from their deck to the graveyard to prevent the activation of another ash blossom they might have in their hand yeah the, you you can pretty much see how this this thing can ha actually have some pretty neat little uses kind of like that uh, trap card retort if you know that ba that is basically an excellent card uh, for a side deck option during mirror matches so yeah, again, the activation is specific. Don't get me wrong, but if you actually if you can actually get it off, you can actually provide a very cool negation. So yeah, this is the only card of this entire archetype that is actually worth playing. And uh, again, it only is pa part of the archetype due to the lore. And let's go on to the grades. Even with the existence of this amazing counter trap nothing gets a uh, one out of uh, nothing gets any more than a uh, one out of three because this is a ridiculously old and unplayable set of cards from one of the earliest sets in the game so yeah i didn't expect much and i didn't get much either okay so yeah this was the very last archetype analysis until further notice 
Uh, the Archetype Rematch Volume 7 is almost halfway done with the new support cards. So yeah, lots of very interesting uh, new support has made its way to the Volume 7, so be on a lookout for that. And be on a lookout for some new character duels uh, episodes. I already made one duel. Which was our, uh, which was a request. It's not the next one that is coming up. I made it f uh, purely because of the fact that it actually turned out super short. It's two turns long. I'm not kidding you all. So, yeah, uh, that 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 character duel in question will be going up after the next one that's in line for the making, and I'll actually be making that one today. But I'm not sure if I'll be uploading it today. Uh, because I had the dispute from the last one, the Reiji versus uh, Judai duel is still going on, and I still have like close to 20 days left to wait in order to uh, to get to the next one. Uh, I, I've actually decided to uh, make these videos in advance as soon as possible, if I of course have the time uh, to do so or the energy to spare and upload these videos as unlisted uh, just to check if they have some copyright stuff in them so yeah and when the and if if they do not have any copyright stuff uh, and I won't be uploading them on the channel as unlisted I'll just be uh, beginning the upload process and if I say that everything's good to go then I'll hit publish and then you'll you'll have a few episodes early and you'll get to enjoy it if the if everything is all clear if every if I can see a copyright thing I'll wait until the last one settles and then upload it so yeah so anyway I have three uh, requests in the making one of them is completely done like the video is ready to go basically uh, the next one in line that's uh, in schedule to do the Kaito versus Yuto duel is is the next one that I'll be making today, and I'll, so and so that only leaves one last uh, request that I received, and that that one's going to be a bit of a wait I guess because that one is a bit on the longer side. So yeah. Anyway, I hope. Uh, you'll enjoyed this video and I hope we can uh, we'll see some new additional support that actually matters in the uh, in the upcoming archetype rematch volume 7 and I absolutely have no idea when I'll be back with archetype analysis because you never know thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more bits boxes and updates comment like and subscribe be sure to check out my patreon when you got the time maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it and I'll see you all and have a good day. Peace.